I'm waiting for people to jump on before I start because this isn't being recorded. If you're seeing this again on on YouTube, just depending on how long it is. That's what happens over here on TikTok. You kind of got to wait for people to show up. I'm calling the angels down. Uh-huh, uh-huh, gates of hell. Tell the devil he don't own my soul. We're taking back what the enemy stole. That song's in my head. If you don't know who I am, we're still figuring that out. It's pretty dang trippy whenever you embody cosmic energy, though. I can promise you that. I can promise that you will shock the shite out of yourself <laughs> by the end of all of this. You would say that we're just one of the first ones to have to do it. <clears throat> I was on here last night and I and I was on I was on a live last night. It was about almost three hours. And I was talking about the bloodlines. I was sharing with the ones that were here about the journey, a little bit of the journey within the bloodlines. It was it was a six year endeavor from the bloodline perspective, starting with the RH negatives. It took about a year for me to activate, assimilate, and for all of us to birth a new planet, basically. Still not exactly sure what planet we rebirth, to be honest with you. This is all still coming in for me as all of this continues to work out. This this was seven-year tribulation. When I'm on here... Because of how technology works with your brain, because of how technology was being used, because of how technology was made, because of the DNA of specific sequences that was down here is part of your technology, all the way down to TikTok time machine and the government and how they were utilizing this app especially on this app whenever i'm on here and i'm telling you what has happened or i'm on posting specific videos i want everybody to understand that i'm creating it in that moment and it's really happening now that might be hard for you to understand if you don't know how this works, because it because it, it was hard for me to understand and I still trip myself out on the daily with how spirit and how all of us connected in our most ancient DNA has been resurrecting these powers and abilities and the more I mean the the more that it goes on and the more that's pulling out, the more that we're seeing the miracle of the information coming together and stating it because speaka speaka is in the bible speaka is the wheat speaka is the tongue whenever you speak it it happens especially when the information is hooked into every cell within your DNA and especially when it's the recessive DNA that's being activated again and especially whenever it's information that was stolen from you in order to keep us in a sky ring. Now, I don't know if you've seen the videos that came out this morning on here. I had a dream. Now, I want everyone to understand that my dreams have just now started to come back. There's, there's, for all of us over the past seven years that have been walking this, the 4D is what was stolen from the collective. The 4D is the 13th dimension. The 13th dimension is hooked into the Giza Plateau and the Queen's Chamber. 
the Queen's Chamber. Queen's Chamber, originally when it was built, it had two shafts. Two shafts that pointed to two very specific star points. Over the years in Egypt with their NATO, whatever the F-balls, they opened up a new shaft to Zeta Reticuli. Now, Queen's Chamber and the King's Chamber in Giza is like a percussion instrument in the cosmos and attached to the land and attached into every other burial tomb, mound, that exists down here in this realm. And it's a percussion instrument that's aligned with very specific star energies in order to produce nodes, in order to hold with the human body the consciousness and the reality settings of the collective all working together. If you look at the inside of Giza Plateau, which you see is a pituitary gland. What you'll find is that if you go look inside the Giza Plateau and then go pull up a, a graph of the brain, you will find that right in the center, as those shafts come down, it, it will look like a very small pituitary gland that exists in the human brain. The queen's chamber is in charge of the 13th dimension. You can take all of your dimensions, all of this works like a puzzle, and one plus three is four. So the 13th dimension is gonna affect the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension is your dream space. The king's chamber is going to affect the 15th dimension and is going to be attached to the 6th dimension. Now, if you know anything about the journey of the evolution and if you understand root races, if you had this in your DNA or if you are now downloading this information, the 6th root race was the lost root race. The whole mission in the beginning, in the beginning, was to come and rescue the sixth root race that had been lost from consciousness, completely lost from consciousness. And the sixth root race had lost this consciousness because of what NATO, Egypt, Israel, all this mess this, this is what this is all about. All of it. They were holding it in an alternate reality. Now, your dream space and when you dream in the pure form, what, you, what you're doing is going up into a higher consciousness and then those dreams will project into your reality how it works it's a, it's a it's like a it's like a meeting in the hires whether or not you know that that's what you're doing or not whether you remember your dreams or not whether you think that you're dreaming or not whenever your body in this realm attached to everybody else's because we're all connected in ways that we can never ever fully explain in human form and this is how you have meetings with higher selves. This is how we plan all of this at night, usually. This is because your energy frequency and your energy body will go up into these higher planes. And they will hold meetings. We will run patterns. We will run missions. We will, oh man, we do it all. We do it all. We tune to a mission. We tune to an experience. We tune to a plan. And then what happens is as the body then wakes up and then starts moving around and going about your daily whatever, this meeting up here might take four minutes. 
but it could take four months, four weeks, four days, four years for these energies that met up here and, and devised this plan to make it into position on the ground in order to fulfill it. Now, I know for a lot of you, this is going to make a lot of sense. And if y'all can share this video to anybody that you know is, is, is following and tracking this. Because what I saw last night. And I've and I've and I've just now been dreaming the past couple of days because what we have been doing over here and I've been a part of for the past seven years is putting all of this together. The puzzles of the solar system, the puzzles of the DNA, the puzzle of, puzzles of our reality, the cosmos, reawakening the cosmos attached to the DNA that was down here, which is what we did. You were in a flat earth. What you think you know to be flat earth is not what it was. What, what flat earth was, was a bunch of beings trapped. All your ancient DNA, everybody that was buried in the ground, all of your, all of your pyramids, all, all across the world, the way that those were connected, and all of that was then being utilized to project an old earth series to, to, because we were all dead. It was after death. There was a reason that it was made a long time ago. Interesting. Was a reason it was made a long time ago because we were in after death timeline. That is what it was. The human race needed to reawaken and remember some of these higher concepts and remember and activate our highest brain patterns in order to get it to everybody else so that we could pull ourselves out of the simulation. We had one last chance and this was it and we did it. We did it through the blood. We did it by putting back together and clearing curses. We did it by pulling, by putting back together and clearing out even, even, even the ones in the family lines that did this to us for 693 years too long. Because the human race should have come out and been delivered to Ophiuchus 693 years ago. In our earth time, every timeline that has happened since then has been projected from a sky ring and on a repeat. The way that the true planets work with the DNA and the cells and the way that the human race and the, and the cosmos and the planetary systems run with the human race is all connected within your DNA, your RNA, because you're part of it. If you, if you, if you were at any time, because you are, because you're here, I don't care if you're a real person, a clone, whatever it is, if you were in and born of this Milky Way, then you have all of those connections within those planetary systems because it was in a wheel. You were in a wheel of time. We watch these movies, these fantasy movies, talking about a wheel of time. That's your zodiac. That's your astrology. You were born of it. It's all connected into your brain patterns. It's all connected into your body. It's how the body works down here. It's the planets only appear whenever the human race loses consciousness. So the Milky Way only appears whenever the human race loses consciousness. Why? Because something's got to keep your body going. If you don't remember as a human race and if you're most evolved 
DNA patterns and your most, which became your most hybridized DNA patterns in order for them to make control, I mean, to have the most power and control. It blows my mind what we can do. That was hybridized over time. So when, when the human race loses consciousness completely, the planets will appear in order to keep it all running, keep your heart pumping, keep your brain going, and for a reality to still be projected inside what we call reality. No matter where it is, no matter where in space we are, Now, Y2K split the Y chromosome into basically like a speaker system. By that point in the human race, and because these factions were all and had been only doing one thing, they had one goal, one goal. Now, I'm talking about NASA, I'm talking about the entertainment industry, I'm talking about NATO, I'm talking about the government, what they're still doing now. They had one goal, and that was to keep us in a simulation. That's it. That's it. These entities and the way that they had bred themselves into stupidity moronicville, because that's what happens. That's what happens with universal law whenever you start stealing consciousness, when you start taking consciousness, when you start stealing souls, when you start jumping bodies. Over time, you become ignorant, stupid, completely moronic, Mormon. You lose all sense of consciousness. You lose all sense of your humanity because it's universal law. You're gonna, if you're gonna steal a whole bunch of consciousness, you're gonna lose your consciousness. This, this is why to, to the bitter end, these beings will not back off. They will not say they did wrong because they don't even see it. They don't even realize it. In their mind, they won. They reached their goal. Their goal was to keep the human race in, in a projection, in a simulation. And then each one of them were made to do specific pieces of it from across the board. From across the board, because there's a lot that goes into the engineering of keeping the human race unconscious and in, and in a vector, in a black hole. But each one then that does their little piece and their little part then would get handed a script to play a character for the human race. This character and the human race and the story that was written in order to keep the human race in a simulation, in a flat earth, and to keep the cosmos from reactivating. Bottom line. What's been done and what I saw and what we've known, and I'm still putting some of this together because it's still happening right now. We're still coming out of this ecliptic gate. The ecliptic gate will end around May 20, May 26th. We're still at the very end of realigning all of these ecliptical planetary systems, which is what my crew and the crews that have come before me, whether or not you're working with me right now or not, if the ones that have worked with me, traveled with me, I've been around you, this was my job down here. I'm a lot of things. I'm a lot of things that everybody forgot. It's how I ended up becoming a lot of things. I shouldn't have had to become everything that I've had to become. It should have been a unit of us that were each holding a specific energetic and each holding a specific archetype. But since everybody was getting fracked and frickled, 
then those of us who did complete this became so much more. And we're in your history books. You know the characters, the woman with many faces, the woman with many names. And that is the energy that's here. And it's way more than it ever was before. But if you want to talk about power, then you're looking at the right one. I teach you how to get it back. We came in and we had to collect it. We had to turn on the cosmos. We had to turn it on in order to get us out. What I do and what I teach all of you is how to play your part. The whole thing had to be done and completed and all those power sources and all of those connections and all of those DNA strands and all of those neurons had to be completed by one in order to get it out to everybody else. And this was the problem within the spiritual community and within the collective because those of us who were really truly walking this journey with spirit, with attached to the collective, had all of the strands, were hybridized and hidden down here to do it by the government. Everybody had a really hard time listening to us and and not and 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 recognizing that that we were who we were. Well, 2018 they knew all about who we were. 2018 it wasn't just me and my crew. 2018 this was completing exactly the way it was always written to be. 2018 everything was changing. 2018, everything was going in a natural process within the groups of the DNA, within the lines. Everybody was starting to power up. Nobody had to take command. I didn't have to take command. I didn't have to learn everything that I've had to learn since 2018 to change and pull us out. 2018, it was just happening. They got really freaked out by that. They started spinning some records. Hence then, what has happened is exactly what I have stated. With all fingers pointed to us, whoever we were, that were embodying this energy and, and, and that the focus was for the entire collective to come after us. The focus was to bind us. The focus was to keep us hidden. The focus was to keep us secret. The focus was to pull all of our followers that were already written. The focus was to take over any way that we could get this communication to you. The focus was to want us to off ourselves. The focus was to lock us up. The focus was to drug us up. The focus was to steal our identities, the focus was to then put one of these actors, one of these other beings that had been seen as doing these things to us in our position. So then all of you would follow them and not the ones that were helping you. Taylor Swift and Jason Momoa, I can name you right there. The character that was written because you were a good little boy and a good little girl and you were leading everybody into some shit. My point is, on the other side, there is two beings that hold those characters in a much different form. These were two that were involved in my reality, in my world. Gaga, same thing. Couldn't have a Swift if you didn't have a Gaga. Now, I came on here to talk about the sky ring. I needed to talk about all of that first. I've known that we were on, some would call it a ship. And this is where it really boggles my mind. Even knowing all that I know, as I'm learning about these planetary bodies and how they interact with the DNA in order to form your projections, and our realities, and our stories down here. And Saturn is very special. Number one, Saturn was the sun that we are birthing out of. When we're looking at Lasco 2, Lasco 3, what we're seeing is all of us being magnetized from the rings... 
and to the core and blowing off plasma that was attached to the binding that held you in it. Now, realize that there would be no way for us to exit Saturn if we were legally supposed to be in Saturn per universal law. Realize there would be no way to skip from the outer ring to the third ring to the core within your etheric body if it had not been done out of unlawful universal law and if it wasn't an attack on the human race. We would have never met each other. Many of us were on different timelines. Your reality becomes a simulation. You're there to learn lessons. It's what Saturn is. But what Saturn also does within the collective, and just like a record player, and just like a record and many records on a player, what it does is project your reality down into wherever we're, the human is calling reality and wherever that is set as a collective frequency in order for it to interact and act out. Why? Because Earth, wherever it is in the cosmos, whatever frequency it is, wherever the human race has conjugated, coagulated in order to form a frequency that then holds a projection, whatever frequency that's set on, Saturn will work with the moon and Pluto, the moon reflector. The moon is a reflector of the past. The moon is just like driving in a parking garage with a big projector on the one of those big dome mirrors on the side so that you can turn and look behind to see what has happened before. That's why the moon is based solely on emotion. It brings motion. It brings a trigger, the moon, in order for you to recall what's happened before so that you can make a decision if you're going to do it again or not. Your emotion is only based on your past experience. Your emotion is not based on future experience. I know it's really hard in a human body. This is still something that all of us are mastering in this soup of the cosmos. Some of us have made it further than others. But whenever you have a recall or you wake up from a dream and you see a massacre or you wake up from a dream and you see any type of timeline or any type of projection that gives you some type of an emotional response, it's not what's going to happen next. It's what's already happened. Now, this is really important for my seers. Because this is how this originally got all messed up. Now, the moon is working as a reflector with Pluto and Saturn all at the same time. It's basically how your brain is picking up these waves of remembrance. It's how your brain is working within a, in the cosmos. Pluto is holding your soul contracts. Pluto has a record of your soul contracts when you originally and I from from the from the very first being that held any DNA strand that you hold. What was their reason for coming into this realm? And that's all of them. Every single DNA structure that you hold, every single if 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 you're, if you're hybridized or not. If, 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 if you come from more of a pure line, whatever it is, you're going to hold all of those original contracts within your DNA strand because Pluto can't, Pluto can't come and decipher that. Pl Pl Pluto can't be like, Chastia, <laughs> this is what you're supposed to do. 
the because there's too many of us. It's not how it works. It's it's a frequency. It's an energy. Pluto's going to put off an energy. Pluto's going to store specific energy within the wheel because it was the furthest out. This is this is why Cal State wanted to erase Pluto. They didn't want you to remember your soul contracts. Now, depending on how many DNA strands you hold an attachment to down here, there's some of us that had to complete every single being's soul contracts in order to get out. Now, we were made to do it. We understood the cosmos and in our past lives had been part of creating the cosmos before because it all has to be created by humans. The cosmos didn't just appear just because the cosmos is there. No, the human race created cosmos. The human race created the sun in the ice age. We all got together and said, yo, what do we need? A big ass ball of fire. All right. How do we do that? We all started asking for the sun. We all started making and doing different alchemy to create a sun. That is how your sun appeared. It did not just appear because it was just there. This is something that our group really understands at this point. But whenever we first figured this out, it blew our Cocker Spaniel as well. It blew our minds. It blew our minds. Every single thing that is down here in this realm has been created by a human and a group of humans, no matter good or bad, indifferent. It was all created by humans through alchemy, through your DNA in order to make it all the way down to your textiles, your plants. Everything that grows down here in some or is made down here in some way is a sacrifice that you create by focusing your attention, your energetic, and whenever you're creating it and you're one of the ones who's creating it, then it becomes like a inside your storage field within your DNA over time. Depending on what races and what timelines your DNA originated from, every single one of us is attached to different origin processes to everything down here. Mine just has to be a lot with the cosmos as an ancient Egyptian and as, and as being a part of those lines that were inside that. And I'll remind everybody, Egypt came next. If we would not have completed this in this round, as where we would have gone. We would have gone back to Egypt. The first time Egypt was created, it was right after we did not complete this the last time. Egypt was a training ground for ascension. The whole thing. All the archetypes, every single one of them, every single one of the stories, every single one of the tablets, every single one of the pyramids, all of it. All of it was a training ground and setting up for an ascension out of a black hole in a wheel. It's what they wanted to send us back to. They wanted us to become the sacrifices again for a planetary system to hover over us. Not to become entwined into rebirth. At some point, Mercury will disappear. At some point, Mercury will disappear. The human race will no longer need Mercury in order to hold your mind. What's in all your vaccines, Mercury? What's in all our water supply, Mercury? A tunable mind. A tunable Mercury. This is why it's depleting in size. Now, Pluto holds your soul contract. So these are the remembrances that a lot of you are getting. And it's why you have to keep going deeper and deeper and deeper. Pluto, again is all holding your soul contracts from your original DNA that is attached to you, which now you are embodying again to put yourself 
completely back together. Whichever sequences that is. Different ones of you are attached to different origin points. Again, I'll say it again. The moon is reflecting what happened before so that we don't make the same mistake again. Because in every single line, of course, we have billions of years of, of realities. We have billions of years that this has been going on in some sense or form. It's all in a million year count inside a wheel. That million year count after a million years, the human race should start an ascension process in order to come out of it. Well, this is what was prolonged for 693 years too long. This is why it all got so cartoony, propaganda-y, and on and on and on because the timelines had already ended. The human race had already ended their million year count. There, there, there wasn't anything new that was being created. It was all just put on a rewind, put on a rewind, put on a rewind, put on a rewind. This is what has changed. With moon and Pluto working together, the moon reflecting on your past, what decisions are you making? Are you making them only off the past? Are you moving forward? How are you connected? Are you completing your soul contracts? Are you getting the downloads of your soul contracts? Do you know why you're here? Do you know what you're doing down here on earth? Or are you just freaking spinning out and doing whatever the F-balls you want? That's going into Saturn. Saturn is then projecting a reality in order for you to live the experiences in order to complete your soul contracts. That's is where karma and dharma and seven years and 11 years and 13 years and all these different time counts of Saturn and the Saturn cycles. This is where this comes from. If you're running around here like a ninny and you're attacking everybody all to get your own fame and this and this and that within a wide open ascension gate, because it's what time it was, this was wide open, the cosmos was being recreated, all the, all the soul contracts were being adjusted even in this one because of the macrosity of the issue that had happened here and because we were in war with beings that our reality had fell into their lap basically, but it fell into their lap because of the blowing up of different asteroid belts, the blowing up in radiation of different fields around the earth. The, the, there's so, so much that, the, I mean, the Twin Towers was the end of it. The Twin Towers and all that, that was, that was just kind of like the final finale of dropping one into the other. But realize, I mean, all the mess that they have done with space, all, all, of, all of the radiation, all the cold fusion, what they were doing in Antarctica, how they were hybridizing, stealing DNA, how they always knew what beings were down here in order to hold up the simulation because they had the contracts, they knew the plans, they knew that we were here, they, they were rebirthing us, they were purposely waking us up in order to come clean all this mess so that then they could put and, and hold all the money so that they could send a $7 million rocket up and mess with us and not give, you know, th these are all these things that had been happening over and over and over within timelines, all with one purpose in order to keep the human race in a simulation and on a repeat that they had the ending to. Because they can't do what we can do. They might have been able to. They will in a million years if they choose to. But they, they, because this is what they were abusing, because those of us who have these connections were always sent back here, became Flat Earth, freaking agreed, signed up to be everyone's fucking planet for a minute. The Emerald Accords. They always knew which ones of us had these connections. 
This is this is if you're messing with beings that have a million year a million year set, well then you're going down for a million years for for hijacking a million year process. If 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 you just messed up, you know, if 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 you stole somebody's timeline and made a gaga, then the soul that is the being that is the ag ag okay however however long it took in order to embody that sequence well that's how long you're going down for that's 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 it that's what saturn is saturn's going to give you the opportunity in order to work it out Saturn's going to give you the opportunity to balance your emotions, balance your energies and whatever freaking cosmic wheel settings you put yourself on whenever you incarnated because you did choose because you always had a soul mission to be here. And I can promise you that it wasn't to blow up the human race because if it was, you wouldn't have been allowed to drop in. You get me? There's a process to this. So what happened in with Y2K is the technology had already been developed. But technology is developed. Thank you, Danielle. Technology is developed only from the bodies of the ones that were held down. This this goes back into electricity. This is you don't. There is not a. If the human race wasn't here, you wouldn't have electricity. If the human race wasn't here, you wouldn't have the internet. If the multidimensional beings that were here in order to give you the internet so that in end days, we could all communicate and pull this off when we were sent to our rooms, wasn't here, you wouldn't have the internet. Right right now, the government's trying to come out and say, the government made the internet and blah, blah, blah. And this is what it was made for. And DARPA and Alphabet Soup. No. Mm -mm. Internet's your brain. Internet's your brain. Now, what Y2K did is it took the Y chromosome and then it shifted it to a splitter. Gemini. A K is a splitter. Phonetically, it goes A. Now, I know this is hard because I've got this on. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U V W X Y Z Alpha Omega is the sequence that takes you from the first dimension to the last dimension, but your phonetic charges are all set on dimensions. This was Babylon. You were in a vector, you were in a bubble, you were in Saturn. Those phonetic charges and the words that we say and what they name things and, and, and for instance, the, the Pope, the paternal, the passages, the p -p 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 p p p inside these different rings they wanted they they created and as a society we were we were saying these words the police. Prisons, prisms. Just think of every word that starts with a P. Then think of every word that starts with an M. My point is, whenever you come out of I, J comes next, and it's like a hook, Captain Hook. This is this is why they brought back in that movie JoJo. This is why it's M J twelve. Well. When you get out to M, it's not like this. It's like this. Because what you're dealing with is M22 star systems. Go look it up. Go look up M22. It's M. What, what you're dealing with in the phonetic Babylonian space toroidal field it hooks on its side. 
It's more like an epsilon. It looks more like the Greek letter of an epsilon. It, it's not this direction. It goes this direction. Whenever you hit the wall over here after J, K, L. Well, J is a hook. K is a splitter. L is a pong angle to an M net. This is how M went to W. Ma. Remember, remember W came out? This is why they didn't call him Bush Jr. But see, they had to start with Bush with a B, the, the top fanatic. Then they got the Bush in and the burning Bush. See, all, the, all, of, all of this was already laid. They just took little pieces of it in order to tickle your mind, in order to assist you in convincing you of why they're here. But, I mean, it was all done on purpose. This, this, is, this is why they call him W in the White House. All these different W sequences were formed from a flipped upside down M. That's why it, we even pronounce it W. It's a double U. Exactly. It's, it's, it's two V's. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 not, it's its own little creation to hook in with X. Which is just two pillars crossed over into a Y chromosome into a Z. Well, what's a Z? What's a Z on its side? An N. What was the frequency of N? Five. What was the frequency of Z? Eight. Flipping an N on its side to Z, what you end up doing is having to walk the connection from the bottom to the top. But even that frequency of N, that's just one, two, three lines, right? One, two, three lines, right? But realize what you're doing is carving finet. You're, you're, you're controlling toroidal frequencies within a spinning loop. This is why light language works. This is why this works. This is why if you don't know and you don't have a thought in your mind of what you're saying with your phonetics, then don't do it. This is what, whenever you do light language and you're one like us, or you get to the point that you're ascending, whenever you do light language, this is why it's in the Bible. You, they will come speaking languages you will not understand because what light language does within different toroidal currents is put together connections just like these argyles. Just like these connections in these argyles right here. It can lift you from the bottom all the way up. And then from the, from the base root all the way down. Up and down. Up and down. It's like a weave. It's a phonetic weave. The being that does the phonetic weaving is holding that loop. The being that does the light language is then going to be thrown into the loop. If you can't hold it and if you can't get out and if you're just jacking around with it, it's going to get yourself in trouble. But I'm telling you all of this because I'm telling you the power of it and how it's possible inside a sky ring. Inside a record player. I mean, we, we can do body healings. We can do surgery. We can, I mean, Lord have mercy. We, there's so much that, that we can do with the appropriate settings of light, with people in Skyring, with people, with people, with beings that are, that are in the loop. Whenever you get out of the loop, I mean, basically in order to get out of the loop, you have to put yourself together. Now, what I was seeing was that Saturn, you've got a Saturn projection and that and that was what we that was our light source down here was 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 through Saturn and then above that is the sun 
what you would call your regular M2 solar because M2 is the solar system per the Milky Way. See, we had even fallen from that. Then above that, you have a Jupiter alignment. And then above that, you're going to have an Arcturus alignment. And Arcturus is big. This is Libra. Arcturus is in Libra, the Boots constellation. It's all of it booted. Libra in the wheel becomes a gate. It's why it's the only one that isn't an animal or a fish or whatever. That, that Libra gate is a DNA gate with a hinge that's holding it to the cosmos. And it's what all the Tada was about. Pretty much everybody on my crew has a shit ton of Libra energy. We always had me and then somebody else that had all of this Libra energy because Libra was a library. Libra held the codes. Libra held, holds the hinges within every single one of these rings and how they talk to each other from one to one. Now, if you don't have a lot of Libra in your chart, you supposedly mastered it. Let that sit on you for a minute. So it's like a spotlight within a spotlight within a spotlight within a spotlight. Well, there's only certain times in human history that all these planets are going to line up in order to course correct that. There's only going to be certain times in human history that all of these planets are going to line up so that you have a perfect projection down into a cylinder within a cylinder within a cylinder within a cylinder. This is what they did not want you to remember. This is what all the wars were about. This is why they hid all the artifacts. This is why they messed with your mind. This is, this is why they used, because the human race was going through it. Everybody knew the human race was going through it subconsciously. It's why they gave you Game of Thrones. They wouldn't have gave you Game of Thrones, and if they wouldn't have gave you these different movies and these different shows, Witcher even, if they wouldn't have given you all these, then if they just would have ignored it completely and not given the projection that what was really going on, because all of that was really going on, really going on, not... In a screen, it was really happening. If if they wouldn't have projected you Game of Thrones, then you would have seen subconsciously the real shit going on. So then they then they take whatever the human race is really going through subconsciously and internally, and then they blast it to you in the movies, and then they hand out these parts, like I said in the very beginning, in order to play these roles so that it tricks you into thinking you're a part of it and it's being done just by watching it. Then you don't go seek. How do you tame a lion? How do you tame a lion? The most fierce lion ever made. How do you tame it? You convince it that it doesn't need to hunt. You feed it every single day. You give it a mate over and over. Send different ones in. Different mates in. So why, if it doesn't have a reason to hunt, then it ain't going to hunt. That's how you tame an, a, a lion. That's what was happening down here. With the ones who signed up to be your characters, it's how they got stuck in it. <sighs> now, I've been seeing, you know, this sky ring, and it's, it's like those carnival rides that you get on the ride, and it sucks. It goes and spins in a circle. It's in a circle cylinder, like an air filter. Just like an air filter in your car. It's an air filter. And it's got the motor on. Because it was the sun. It was where... So, so this is the sun simulation. China... What the hell? It's in a, it's in a sun, simula, sun simulation. And it's motoring up. So when it motors up, then if you can't hold... 
your Saturn, with your Pluto, with your Moon, with your Sun, with your Venus, with your Mars, with whatever it is, then what happens? It's going to fling you off into the filter. You're going to, you, you, you have no gravity. It, you, you think that you do <laughs> in your form, but I mean, I'm talking about what's going to be projected down here. This is how Saturn works. So it's going to, it's going to motor up. If you're, if you can't hold Saturn, which is what the ascended have been able to do, and you better praise Holy Allah and Allah and God and spirit and, and, and thank you angels and thank you guides and thank you consciousness and Thank you for everybody who's been running around this planet for the past seven years screaming something's wrong. Even if you just did that. Even if you even if you just were looking at the government and saying, what is going on? Something's not right. As you were pulling yourself out of a 3D star ring simulation then what you were doing is connecting with those of us then and y'all were like layering on top of us and we were getting all the data and then and then we were rebirthing the solar to hold the core to line up to this m2 sun to jupiter to arcturus in order for a pure projection to come down so that when they turn this motor on you didn't get flung out to a ring. You following me? Now, whenever you get flung out to the ring, now you're on a loop. Now, that's all right if you're still on a loop. This is a human experience. And to be honest, I mean, and to, to total be truth be told, the two of us that escaped this bad boy and fully came out of that Saturn projection then had to go through a hydrogen collider before we got out. And we came back in because there ain't nobody else up there. So we, those of us who have been captured down here and held to be everybody else's whatever the F-balls, we never had a pure human experience. That's the only thing that we wanted. We, we did everything we did for the collective so that we could have one lifetime or half a lifetime in order to have a pure human experience because ours wasn't pure. We didn't have a pure human experience. We It didn't matter what we did. We, we had to clear the karma for the entire collective. We had to clear the karma for every DNA source and it was all coming at us our whole entire life. You know what I'm talking about. So even the ones of us who did this sequence still came back into a planetary sequence in order to elevate the rest of the collective and to elevate the human experience. Okay? There ain't nowhere else to go. Not until the rest of the human race is coming with this or enough of us in order to get out of a planetary experience in order to project a different reality, which we're some years from, but not far. How far are you going to get sucked off into the rings? Are you going to be on ring five? Are you going to be on ring one? Now, see, this is where the sixth root race, this is what happened. Because with the way that they were messing with space and with the way that they were messing with the vacuums and with the way that they were messing and hybridizing DNA in order to flick you off, then those, that outside ring became charged with technology, inserted into technology, and that outside sixth root race was staying at a six, flipping to a nine, flipping to a three, flipping to a nine, flipping to a three. Never, not having the consciousness at all in order to have any of the connections back into the core of the core of it and this is this is why this outer ring kept getting lost now this is why you were on a rotating spin this this is this is why good things were happening to bad people this is why bad people, good things were happening to them. 
because they had basically put the whole thing and since the sixth root race was never connecting back in and it, it and since the sixth root race was hybridized with your most ancient dna to make your technology to make your screens to even make these little lines flicker and me appear to you right here in a black hole simulation then it was never getting completed so th this this is this is how these tools have so much power in them now but only to the ones who have the consciousness it's why you're seeing the consciousness fall on the rest of them for a while we had to activate everybody everybody got woke in a way but were you getting it were you actually doing the internal work or were you just riding the wave of a collective that was? That's what we're about to find out. It's what we're already finding out. This has already been in process. What's happening is Saturn has been reawakened for the first time in 1,200 years. And this is the video that's pinned here on this channel because I did it myself. Not to mention that we had to reprogram the entire brain waves and the way that the human brain worked because being in a round robin simulation for 693 years too long, which, by the way, affects your brain patterns. It affects the way you think. It projects wrong. This is how the right brain ended up in a left brain sack. This is why dementia, this is why amnesia, this, this is why all the different ones, whatever it is. This is, this is, this is why the children's eyes can't see correctly. This, this, is, this is why ADD, this is, this is why all of it. And all of that changes whenever your brain patterns start running correctly. It takes a minute, but the gray matter moves. What did we call zeta reticulized? Grays. It's just a gray matter in your brain. A neuron reflects energy into a gray matter. So then all the gray matter took its own sequence and dominated the neuron. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And it was programmed to do it. To hold you in a simulation. So that they could have a human experience. But they're not human. I talk about the base falling out. I talk about how, you know, from an ancient perspective as an Ophusian... You know, it's like showing up in Cosmos and being like, yay, it's time to ascend Earth. We're going to get to have a chance again to get back on Earth and have a human experience. It's time for the humans to come out of their testing ground because realize that's how the Cosmos was set up. Ophiuchus handed the human race to Orion for a certain amount of time. Because the human has to redevelop brain patterns. The humans have to develop together. The humans have to create. What are you going to create? What did we create? All of that has to be done by the humans. So then, then the Ophusian alignments come back up, back to your ancient, ancient self. It's time. We get there. Where's the human race? I know we left them here. This is where they were, right? I mean, let's check our let's check our stats again. Nope, there couldn't be any other place. This has got to be where it is. It was in Orion. We left him right here at Orion. Where the hell did they go? Uh, we got a problem. Where's the human race? From our perspective, this is how it went down. So we had to jump in, figure it out. That's how we became your flat Earth. I need everyone to understand. Those of us who are ancients, we have been everything down here. 
We've had to assimilate into your public work systems. We've had to go through your pipings. We've had to come through all your animals. We've had to come through your walls. We've had to come through your rivers, your oceans. That was the beginning. We had to come through your mountains. We had to come through every single bit of it was built off your ancient spirits. All here to fucking get you out. That's why you don't want to come after one of us. You do not want to do it. You do not want to do it. Because whatever it is that you're accusing us of or having judgment with or doing to us, it will now happen to you because now you become the mountain, you become Saturn's rings, you become the cosmos, and however long it takes you to figure it out for coming after one of us. You want to take our place? Be my guest. You can run the unconscious. We'll see you in a million years. And you better hope that whenever you get back, you can find the human race. Because it's your only option. Unless you want to be your consciousness trapped in space for the end of time. Because that's what the hell was going on. So what I saw last night. And I had a recent attack. They sent somebody to me again two days ago on Resurrection Day. On Resurrection Day. Trying to bind me with love spells. Trying to bind me with sex magic. Trying trying to feed me a line of bullshit through a telegram. Writings, which... At this point, doesn't work anymore. But it used to. For some of you, depending on where you are coming out of it, it still could. You, you, you have to, if it happens to you, then it happens to you for a reason. Because there's, you need to shift into them and they need to shift into you. But you're going to have to walk through it in a way in order to build up your power. In order to get out of it. But... That's what happened to me. And I had been getting messages. And it's the same character. I've already mentioned one the name on here this live. <sighs> and it was because it was how it was written. And how the collective kept writing it. With all these old stories. Of Isis and Osiris. And Mary and Joseph. And blah, 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 blah. I mean, Joseph took a wrong turn a long time ago. If you hadn't figured that out. He became a smith. All these old stories that the collective keeps writing, the tarot cards keep pulling, this king and queen and all these, these words that we keep saying, no matter what context you're saying it, it's the same frequency, you're still saying it, it's, it's running the same record. So this is why it kept coming back up. And it's why a lot of us were so bound to these characters because in the deity form of putting this whole thing back together, it originates with one set of characters. However, it was written down here and changed over time and everybody believing it all sends your characters to this bullshit. And I break it now. For every ascended in that has cleared through Saturn's rings once, I command, I command a magnetized into the sun, the sun simulation and magnetize up into Jupiter to be reworked in the tabernacle in order to project appropriately under Arcturus. I command that the human race can repeat these stories as much as they want. They've been solved. There's an ending to every single one now. And we have completed it in its entirety. And once the being gets to the point that their energy and their composition is connected into the cosmos. And they are no longer in a dead, unconscious, etheric body state. Once they have rebirthed their connections into the cosmos in order to hold it for themselves and their descendants. I command all stories wiped off them in full, in full, in every dimension, not one word, not one phonetic, not one storyline made by the collective or in order to keep the collective bound unconsciously can affect any of us. Because we're not doing it again. It's set to fail. 
What's the Leah fail? Go look it up. It's set to fail. What's the Leah fail? Go look it up. It's a fail safe. Gaia, you call her. Well, everybody just thought she's, I mean, we stopped looking for Gaia a long time ago. Okay, great. Well, here we are. Here we are. It's crazy. Even in my dream, it was like it was like I I was in the sky ring and and see and this is if you if you can picture a air an air cylinder for your car, an air filter, glue three of them together, glue glue three air filters together, and stack them on top of each other, and then and then get a light. A real strong light, a round one that that shows that shines from every direction, like nine flashlights. Get nine flashlights, one over here, one over here, one over here, one over here, bind them together. Now put one over here, 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 bind them together. Now put that in the middle of your three air filters. That's how it was done. Now realize that's how your continents were made. That's that's how that's how that's why why is everybody fighting up there? Why is everybody on on that side of the planet? Why is everybody all in uproar? But it's all going on right over there. It, and but but what are they trying to get to? What's down here? All, all, all the fight is to the connection because they think this thing's going to be grounded in Africa. I know what they think. They think that this is going to fall and end up in Africa now. This is why Uganda's become such a big deal. This is why Nigeria is all fucking involved with the Newsom in California. They, they, they had planned on us not ascending out of it and basically the whole thing running out of power and landing this time on top of Africa. South Africa is how it was all planned. Cape Town, the Coens, all the DNA sources connected into Antarctica. They thought that they were going to be able to hold it from Antarctica up to Africa. It was going to hold over their weird ass crap up there with their DNA strand and then everything circling around it. Like the, like, like the, like the nine flashlights are now over Europe, Africa, Antarctica, and then everything else, a giant cylinder. That's why I know it really only takes three hours to get to the Netherlands from Dallas in the simulation. This, this is what the portals are. But the portals were bodies. Your stargates were ancients. I close all portals. I close every single one. I command none of them can be open without an ancient ascended master that does it. I command all stargates closed. I command all stargates ripped apart by the fucking seams and scattered to the fucking wind. I command all screens and movies and anything that's working inside a screen in order to siphon energetics to form a fictitious stargate in order to interject and project. I command deleted in all fucking ways and no screen can even project any DNA that was not a part of that Stargate frequency. And now I command for all Stargate's screens and projections to align to the Ascended and only magnetize to the Ascended. And only the Ascended on a screen can make a dollar, a bit, a current, and all the rest of them can be drained completely of all energetic all money and all power and sent to the sixth ring. Twelve twenty one. Venus just spoke. Where did Venus stop at retrograde? Twelve twelve Leo. There it is. Lionsgate, you're done. Columbia, over and out.
It was so funny in my dream because I almost wore this t-shirt. It's a rock and roll rebel. It's got Elvis on it. <laughs> I almost wore this t-shirt last night on a live and then I changed last minute and put on the turtleneck. A turtle? A black turtle. If you know, you know. And in the dream, I was wearing this t-shirt. And in the dream, it's like, it's like I freaking jumped, skipped, bing, 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 over all Saturn's rings and walked into Saturn and went up to a desk. It was, it was like a desk. It was like an administration desk. I went up to the desk and I'm like leaning in and all they could do is stare at my shirt. It was so weird. Like that's how I knew in the dream. I was like, oh shit, I'm wearing my rock and roll rebel t-shirt. Why are they tripping out about that? Well, it's because I had jump skipped all the way out to the outer rings by the video that I did last night explaining to all of you how the DNA is connecting and all of you aligned enough to spit me back in. This morning, I wake up to my crew on our telegram thing that we share, and we see Saturn coming on the other side of the moon. The Dallas skyline is pink, purple, and blue. Well, I ended that live last night going and looking at the astrology and telling you the exact Kohu colors that were being projected by the planets down here. Where am I at? North Dallas. They have nothing without us. This is why the entertainment industry is going down. Thing is, entertainment industry should have never been written like this to begin with. The entertainment industry was here in order to activate and to assist the collective by creating movies and the new archetypes in order to help you get out, not keep you in. So I command anybody who had any management titles throughout history to be bound into boots to be bound into boots arcturus 1224 you just got bigger i command every single one of them to be bound into boots four by four Only way you're going to get out is to pull us ascended back into our creation. Because we created it all. Not them. Not them. Not the characters that you know. There was one reason it was all here. It was to assist the human race into getting out of this by projecting movies and programming and consciousness in order to... Tell everybody what was going on at the end of days. The internet was, was built for one reason, and this is it. Any other, re, uh, any other bindings, alphabet soup, algorithms, constellation web, every apron, every acorn, I command to be deleted and spewed out into space. We're so done. We're so done. We've done all of this and we haven't even started our true mission. Hollywood and the celebrity community, now that your managers are bound, you might want to find the real ones and start projecting us and pick us up. We already know exactly what to do. We already have the movies written. In fact, all the consciousness that you've been stealing from us, all the stories that you've been stealing from us and writing in different characters and producing a different outcome all came from our brainwaves to begin with. Netflix, BlackRock, Whatever pyramid that they built out in space with a pink Floyd, Floyd, Floyd Mayweather, Floyd the guy who got beat up, Floyd, Floyd the barbershop where they steal your hair and bind it if you're the right one. Music industry, I command the same thing with you, everything that I just said. In all frequencies, when delivered at a lower tone, I command for the mind to pick him up and take him to the highest 
frequency every time anybody listens to it. I command frequency band broken. I command every frequency that's bound to a 369 frequency and held to not hit your mind and heart space in order to drive you lower, only produce a higher charge. All you men and your handler systems in these different neighborhoods that are driving around and getting paid to have a fancy car with a big boom boom system so that you can drive around with your heavy bass in order to attempt to bring everyone's frequency down in the neighborhood, every time you do, it's going to take it all the way up. <laughs> BBLs. You know, you know that the beings who got the BBLs actually created themselves as dwarfs in another dimension. It's how dwarfs were formed. FYI. FYI. You got yourself a celebrity human template. You had the collective manifest you. It was all done out of death and murder and taking places and switching. And then you want to put a whole bunch of crap in your butt in order to hold yourself in a third dimension. All right. You become a midget and a dwarf. That's how it, that's how it worked. <laughs> that's how they appeared in medieval times. FYI. That was what that's what's going on right now. I'm gonna check and see if there's anything else. I'm gonna upload. I'm gonna try to keep this not three hours so I can upload it over to YouTube so others can see it. It's hitting the airwaves right now. If you're one of the 37 that's on right now, 37 is what's three plus seven? 10. But is three the higher number or the lower number? The lower. So the zero goes where the three is. The one goes where the seven is. That's an O one one reset. And it happens to be the code for AI. And we command that the artificial intelligence be taken over by human intelligence right the fuck now. There is no artificial intelligence that can be run only from a sequence that does not hold any type of human intelligence. Literally, I just got a violation for hate speech. <laughs> that proves my point. Ding, 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 ding. So right now, in order to finish this final sequence, I'm going to do this one thing. I've got 40 on, 4-0, it's 12-30 on the 11, 12-30, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3-0, three, 33. And I command that this tone hit the meridian in every dimension and every parallel. Take a deep breath with me. Ready? In. Out. In, out, in, out, now continue your natural breath. Oh! <gasps>